There's no moving on in life without forgiveness. I mentioned this last week, but even Jesus says that if you come to the temple to have to, to give an offering, right? You're making an offering to God uh, and you have something against your brother. Basically, you have something that you're angry with somebody else about. Go to that person and resolve that issue. Cleanse your heart. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, breakthrough this weekend. I'm 44 years young, and I just learned the truth about my father. I learned from my family the detailed reason he is distant to me, because of rejection. I was simply a casualty to his inner war and represent his failed relationship with my mother. That said, it was an emotional realization for me to finally obtain the missing piece to that puzzle. He remarried and set up a new family, would you recommend I continue to contact him on occasion, as I've done before, or would it be best to move on? I feel I have taken a beating for years, but chosen to rise above it instead of remain in a broken state. Well, the first thing I want to say, bro, is congratulations on that huge breakthrough, because I truly believe that a man knows himself through his father. And when I, when I say that, it doesn't necessarily mean that your father was a, uh, a beacon of light for you to follow, but your father's sins, your father's downfalls, your father's weaknesses, we need to know them. And the fact that you got some clarity on why your father did what he did and how that impacted your life gives you, uh, it gives you a lot of power. It gives you a sense of clarity. It gives you a sense of direction. It gives you a sense of closure. And all of that is great. All of that is well worth having because in order for us to move on, and I'm pulling this straight out of the Jesse Lee Peterson uh, book, handbook, we have to forgive our parents. There's no moving on in life without forgiveness. I mentioned this last week, but even Jesus says that if you come to the temple to have to, to give an offering, right? You're making an offering to God uh, and you have something against your brother. Basically, you have something that you're angry with somebody else about. Go to that person and resolve that issue. Cleanse your heart. The only way to approach God the Father, because that is our true pattern. Our, our, our earthly fathers are our essence, but our true pattern, the true father is God the Father. And the only way to be in communion, to be in uh, uh, atonement with God the Father is to atone with your original father. That means have no hangups. Have no hangups about your parents whatsoever. And the way you do that is not by fixing them not by changing the past, not by changing yourself, except for the cleansing of your heart, right? And he will even say, Stephen says, his sins and my sins, I found them to be mirror image. Now you can be free from those sins because they hold you captive when you still have anger towards your father. If you have any emotion, they say, they say, they say that you become what you're angry at. Have you ever heard that? I've heard that. And it took me a long time to understand that. You become... That's why they say, like, in, in war, you don't want to become like your enemy. If you hate your enemy, you become like it. You don't want to become like your father, so you forgive your father. You, if you have anger towards your father, you're going to be just like him. And you're going to make the same mistakes, and you're going to blame him. But if you free yourself, you unburden yourself, and you forgive your father, now you're clear. Now you're, you're, you're saved, right? You're free. So you have to. You have to let it go. Now, your question is, should I continue to uh, contact him on occasion? If you want to. If you want to, but without any expectation. If you contact your father, don't think that he's supposed to be a certain way with you or that he's supposed to contact you back or that he's supposed to want something more than what he already wants. It's you that wants to contact him. If you contact him because you want to contact him and it's for the peace of your own heart, not because of anything that you want from him, there's no problem. In fact, that, that, is, that shows a level of maturity. It shows a level of, of overcoming, right? You're so free now that you can contact him to say happy birthday, Merry Christmas, and, you know, Dad, I love you, and that's it. I don't need you to change. I don't need you. I don't, you don't need him to apologize, right? You just forgive. You Forgiveness is something you do. Forgive him from your heart. Be free. Be clear. 
Treat him with respect because he is your father, but don't need anything from him. Let him be. Let him be. And look, man, I'm happy that you were able to resolve a lot of this because you're not perfect either. I'm not perfect either. None of our fathers are perfect either. That's why we have God the Father above. That's why I like to use that word pattern. God is the pattern. God is the archetype, is the, is the, um, is the blueprint. An archetype is a pattern. It's a blueprint. God is the perfect blueprint for how a man is to live, and Jesus Christ gives us the example. Your dad ain't going to do it. My dad didn't do it. I can't do it. But it's up to us to hold ourselves to that high standard that is demonstrated by the life of Christ and by what he, how he lives in relationship to his father. Right? He says, all things I do is, is the father working through me. Right. And that's where we want to be. We want to be so atoned with God, the father, that we're not acting of our own accord. But we can't do that if we have hang ups. Right. And he gives us all kinds of advice on to how to live that kind of life. So that's my advice on that, bro. I'm happy that you had this breakthrough. I'm happy that you free enough that you can contact him. You don't have to have animosity. If you don't want to contact him, that's OK, too, as long as you free in your heart, dude. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. And then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.